Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, servicing the Grand Strand and the PD. And today, y'all are in for quite a treat, and so am I, because we're gonna take you on a short food tour of Myrtle Beach. And our first stop, as you can see behind me, this is my favorite Mexican place locally. My number two spot is a place we've covered quite a few times on the channel, which is Las Pedritas in Florence. But this is Taqueria Guanajuato. It's in Conway, South Carolina, so we're right outside of Myrtle Beach, actually. And so I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get inside and show you what they've got. All right, so again, that is Taqueria Guanajuato. It's in Conway, and it is fantastic. It really is my top-rated Mexican restaurant. Now, let's go over some of this. The tacos are pretty straightforward, street tacos. The only thing is they, a lot of the tacos will have raw, fresh onion on there, white onion. Those are grilled onions on the tacos. I had the al pastor and the uh, carne asada. Both of them are excellent. The pastor, they nailed it with the pineapple, you know what it is. Their asada is just seasoned well, good cuts of meat, tender, fantastic. The salsa verde is super good there. Now that one, today it was pretty spicy, but I, I like hot stuff anyways, that was fine with me, but it's really good. And then that one red sauce they had was different than anything I've had up there. I think they mix it up. Uh, it was kind of unique, but it was really good too. The pupusas with the quesillo or the cheese, that cheese they have has a lot of resistance to it. That's really good. You saw how packed with meat that quesadilla is. Quesadillas are pretty straightforward, but I'm telling you, that steak quesadilla is fantastic. And then I tried an item I haven't had. That last taco is a fried flour shell with papas or potatoes and chorizo. Now, I think the chorizo I ordered was missing from that one. I, I'm not sure, but um, it was really good. And you know what it made me think about? It's like something you would order. It tastes like something you would get from Taco Bell but I don't mean that in a negative way. It's like if Taco Bell actually made something that was high quality, it was that. And then lastly was the gordita I got with carnitas. And the way I would explain that is those carnitas taste like some pork that I would get at my grandmother's house. So I don't know how else you could say it without somebody understanding that it was really good. All right, so I'm just telling you the recipes, the cook quality, everything, Every time is fantastic. Taqueria Guanajuato in Conway, South Carolina. Go check them out. I'll put their address down in the description. So our next stop is a highly suggested place 
for sushi. My wife wants sushi, so that's where we're gonna go. So we're about to head over to the Flaming Fin. So let's go. All right, so again, that was the Flaming Fin in Carolina Forest, and that was really good. So let's start off at the top. I got the dumplings steamed. You can get them pan seared or steamed. That was the pork gyoza. Those were excellent. Emma's gonna tell you that. Those were fantastic. There's a lot of people that do fried rice, chicken fried rice well. That was really for the kids, but obviously I had some of it as you can see, and that was also super good. And the sushi was really good too. I don't think anything's wild caught necessarily but it was still really nice i had a spicy salmon roll i had the unagi which those were big thick pieces of unagi a lot of times you'll go to places that have these little thin strips of that barbecue deal but those were really thick and meaty the white sauce is really good and then i got the ginza roll which has the unagi shrimp tempura avocado i thought that was really good and then of course they've got the pageantry also so you saw the butterfly rolls really actually in the shape of a butterfly and stuff like that so nice environment good food well priced i don't think that you will be disappointed if you like sushi if you go check out the flaming fin but now it's breakfast time which is quite possibly my favorite meal of the day and i'm ready to go so let me get dressed and let's head over to the blueberries grill
So you might have to wait to get a table and for a breakfast place it's pretty expensive but I'm telling you Blueberry's Grill is really good. And please do yourself a favor and get those Blueberry Hush Puppies. You will not be disappointed. Uh, they've got a unique menu as hopefully you were able to see in the clips. And in an environment where breakfast places can be kind of standardized, I'm telling you you're not going to be disappointed with that place. Now we're dropping addresses for all these places down in the description. And with our last stop for the day we are at Rio's. And I'm sure that a lot of the locals might say, well, you're going to take them to Rio's. This place has over 7,000 reviews on Google. I think they're at 4.6. And there's a reason for it. Sometimes you don't go against the grain. Sometimes you do. Tonight, we are not. Because I think there's a reason for all those reviews. And I think there's a reason to take you inside. And so with no further ado, let's do just that. Alright, so again, sometimes you just don't overthink it, guys. The fact is, you know, like I said, there's over 7,000 reviews for Rio's on Google, and there's a reason for that. It's essentially an all-you-can-eat buffet for meat. As you can see, they bring the large skewer out that the meat is on and shave it off there at the table for you. So it's not the highest grades of meat. So if you're looking for high-grade steak, sausage, whatever, I'm just being up front. Don't expect that going into Rio's. However, the cook that they put on the meat is done really well. Another big perk about Rio's is that if you make a reservation or you get in there and you're, you're not waiting on a table, you eat the second that you sit down. There's no waiting for food. So when we went to Flame and Finn, we waited quite a while for our food to come out. This is the exact opposite. They bombard you almost at the table. Uh, and you see that you get the little cards you flip over from red to green. And I'm just giving you the warning. They, they're going to bombard you immediately when you sit down. So that's a perk and a benefit. I would say that you're going for the experience. Uh, it's definitely got franchise vibes to an extent, but it's one of the best salad bars that you're going to find. And like I said, they cook the meat really well. I would say it's something that you will definitely enjoy. I just want to make sure that you set your expectations right, that it's an all-you-can-eat buffet for meat. So they're not going out and getting the highest quality meats that are available on the market. But it's still done really well, really good, something that you'll enjoy, and something your kids will have a lot of fun with too, honestly. So definitely a very unique experience in Myrtle Beach. Make sure you check them out. Now make sure that you're subscribed to the channel to stay tuned for future content because the same way that we do in the PD area, we want to hit all of the hidden gems and places in Myrtle Beach to show you what this area has to offer in terms of cuisine. This was just a showcase to highlight some places that you'll want to go check out. Definitely Blueberry's Grill and definitely Guanajuato and Conway. Those are do not miss restaurants. You've got to get over there. I'm telling you that. And as well, I got a couple of honorable mentions. Stella's Homemade Ice Cream in Merle's Inlet and Kaminsky's New York Deli. Great people over there. Just real great people. You want to go over there and check them out. And you can see some of the sandwiches we got there as well. So both of those places are definitely honorable mentions. We just enjoyed them though. I didn't really make an effort to get a whole lot of footage at either one of those establishments. So with that being said, the addresses and contact information for all the restaurants that we toured are down in the description of the video. Make sure that you check them out next time you're in Myrtle Beach. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel to stay tuned for future videos 
coming down the pipeline. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.